motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage are too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Don't worry. I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. sakes, we're family! I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the pool. Gun down now. He's a Sith. He'll kill us all. You should get inside the city. Thank you. 
I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left.
every second you hide.
How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. I need you to find someone, but it's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be or how long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here... Excellent. ...used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Until they found this place. We don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge the rent. Hard and loud, huh? 
shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death, shall I? Should've left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. 
Darla, where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. Smug, overconfident ass. Yeah, yeah. All right, you get to the count of ten. If I still see your face after that, I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here fast. One. Two. Three. Secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Roughed up. She talked to Doc Crocker over at the Mega Surgery Center. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Evan at the wall if you want his words. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre war ruins all the time, then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but. You deserve a reward, plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can. No matter how painful it might be. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. 
Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Mm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but... You two should still be careful. I always am. I think I can pick this. Hey, Valentine. No luck? Guess we need to find a key. Govern lock, ain't it? See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Hairstyle from 
the upper stand. Extra, extra. Is your neighbor really human? Get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. Not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's gonna be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Oh, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. Take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. They seem small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. desk. Gwyneth Stout beer, 
44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Where it is? Something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft. <laughs> 